Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to install the uh, new Pokemon MMO game called Poke MMO, which you can find at pokemmo.eu or just search Pokemon MMO and it'll probably be the first first uh, result in the search. So the first thing you're obviously going to want to do is click register now, fill in your username, all those details, make your account. Once that's all done, you want to head over to downloads. Then you're going to want to download the client as it says here, so you just click the big orange button, that will down start downloading the client. Then um, obviously to play this it uses files from old Fire Red, Emerald, Heart Gold, Soul Silver games. So to download them legally you should already have permission to use these, i.e. own the game. But that's the disclaimer out the way, so what you're going to do is go to the links in the description that I'll put there and you'll be able to download the ROMs from these websites well I should say website as there are all three are on the same website but basically what you want to do is just download them all and they are all for the most part zip files so you can just open them in Windows however the heart gold file is actually a RAR, so you can either need like 7-zip or uh, WinRAR to open that. So um, once that's done, you're basically just going to go ahead and extract all for all of these. So instead of having the zip, you have the actual folder with the files inside of it. For each one of the four files you just downloaded, you extract all of those. There we go. Once that's done, you don't need this, the these anymore because you got the real files. So then you're going to want to move the client to somewhere where well wherever you want it. I'm just going to put it in D program files just because that's where like most games install and programs for that matter. So that's in there. Now if we open that up, give it a second. It's on the other screen. Drag it over here. We go. It's going to ask you to point it to the ROMs. So now what you're going to want to do is get the other three folders, cut them as well. And you're going to go back. Want to go back to wherever you put the client folder. Go in its ROMs folder. Just go ahead and stick all those in there. And you're going to go on select for Fire Red, and then go to Fire Red. Select the Fire Red file inside the folder. It will say Fire Red's now loaded go ahead and do the same thing for emerald so you click the arrow to go back one go in emerald put the emerald file in there emerald is now loaded then you go lastly you want to do the same for heart gold soul silver so you go from there click on that click ok that's now loaded so you want to close this so the game will have to be restarted so it can load in the stuff you click ok it closes and it doesn't actually restart itself so you're going to have to go back to wherever you put it and uh, open it up again and then it should hopefully load up like so. You wait, give it a little while while it like generates scripts, does some com configuration setups and stuff, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And hey, presto! Soon enough, you should have a login screen like this. And from this point, you send your username, and password, create your character, however you want it, and you're free to explore the Pokemon world. So, uh. See you guys there. Also, as a side note, you, to save yourself the trouble of having to go to this folder every time you want to launch the game, you can right click this and press send to your desktop, which will put a shortcut there so you can launch from your desktop. Or if you're like me and you don't really like desktop shortcuts, you can right click that, pin it to the taskbar so it will appear down here. Or you can also pin it to the start menu which is what I like to do and then it will appear as one of these little bits little bits here but anyways that's all so I hope this helps some of you guys and uh, catch you later